Hi everyone and welcome. So in this Shopify tutorial, we're going to learn about this. Okay, so in this uh, Shopify Brooklyn theme tutorial, we're going to learn how we can customize this uh, banner. So we're going to learn how we can add a slideshow. This is part number two. And to do this, we're going to go to our backend. We're going to go and click on online store and click on themes. And after that, we're going to go to current theme and click on customize. Okay, so we want to edit this slideshow. So to do this, we're going to go to the left sidebar. We're going to click on slideshow. And under settings, we see slideshow height. We can choose to change from full screen to adapt to first image. All right, so I'm going to choose full screen. You can learn more about slideshow guidelines. Click on that. And here you can read about uh, the slideshow section includes the following settings. So all of these. So auto rotate between slides, change slides every second, image overlay and things like that. So let's go here and have a look. And we can also choose auto rotate slides. Yes or no? If you have more than one slide, I recommend you to check this one. Uh, change slides every second. So from three seconds up to nine seconds. So every three seconds, these slides will change the image to the other image. Okay. So let's say I want to have five seconds and then we got the content. So here we can add slides. So click on the slide. And now we can choose to select an image. You can upload from your own computer or you can click on free images to choose woman fashion, men's fashion, summer, good vibes, nature and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna choose men's fashion. I'm gonna click on one of these images. So let's say I want to have this one. Click on the image, click on select. Okay. You can change the image right here. We can click on edit to uh, add an image alt text. So write a brief description of this image to improve search engine optimization, SEO, and accessibility for visually impaired customers. Okay. So let's say I'm just going to add men's fashion like that and click on save. All right. You can also remove the image right here. Then we got image position. We can choose uh, top, left, center, right. Like that. So just uh, play around until you find the best uh, image position. Then you got middle, left, center, right. Bottom, left, center, right. Okay. So I'm going to choose middle, center. Like that. Then we got show overlay. If I uncheck this one, we're going to get the uh, original uh, image. If I want to add an overlay, I check this one. And I can choose overlay opacity. Like that. So I'm going to choose 25. All right. Then we got text. So text alignment. If you want to choose left, center, or right like that so i'm gonna choose center then we got heading so hero banner so this one and we can change this to men's fashion like that this is just an example you're gonna add your own headline okay we got subheading this one so we can add Like that, so we can add best deals right now, men's fashion. Then we got button label, shop now. So to add a button, we need to add a link. So you can click on paste the link or search. So we can add a link to collections, products, pages, blogs, blog posts, and policies. So let's say I want to add products. Right now I don't have any products, so I'm gonna just click on all products. 
like that and now we can see shop now okay so if you want to change the shop now you just change the bottom label right here to whatever you like okay then we got text you can change the text color like that so now we change the text color right here by men's fashion and best deals right now but I'm gonna have white like that and we also got the bottom label we can change the bottom label text color this one shop now let's click on the color and choose a color like that same thing with button we can change the background color of this button let's click on the color so you can choose a color right here or add a color code or use recently selected or currently used okay so in this case I'm gonna choose red and I'm gonna change the bottom label color to white like that so now we got red background with shop now with white text okay and we got the link to a product that we got right here Okay, so when the customers click on this one, they will get uh, directed to this product or page or whatever you choose. Okay, so now we can just click on save this slide right here in the top right corner. So the first slide is done. We can close it right here. And now we can add another slide or we can remove this slide if you only want to have one uh, image. We can just open this one, go down and click on remove content. So I'm going to add another slide. I'm going to click on select image, choose three images, click on men's fashion, click on the image you want, click on select. And you know, just do the same thing. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm just going to add a link. And I'm going to use the same button label, white, with the red background, like that. Okay, so now we got two slides. You can add more slides right here. Just click on add slide and add another one. Or you can just remove this by clicking on remove content. And let's uh, change this to three seconds. And I'm going to click on auto rotate slides like that. Click on save. Go back. Click on update. Like that. So now we have a new slide every third second. And if I click on shop now, this will take us to the product that we have linked to. Okay. So let's go back. Okay everyone, so this is how you can add a slideshow to your uh, Shopify store using Brooklyn theme. So let's go to the next part. Okay everyone, so this is the end of this tutorial. I hope this helped. If you want, you can leave a comment below. You can subscribe to my channel right here. And also check out my latest video right here. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.